Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from uh, Tech Fans here. So, this is Kali and uh, this is a uh, Realme Pad that I have been using for last one year. Recently, I have made a custom ROM for this, uh, which is the Aero OS 13, Android 13. Official and I have installed it and the video is there in the card. So, if you have already installed it or you are uh, about to get some idea whether I can go ahead or install, this video definitely will give an idea about this. As this is the video, I will be giving my thoughts on this uh, Android 13 on uh, Realme Pad. So, yeah, we'll see it. So before uh, starting this video, I have to mention that this video will be most of the part will be same as our uh, AeroWise 13 uh, review video. So I have I missed some of the things. If if I missed it, it may be like it is same as the previous AeroWise. So so I will try to finish this uh, video as quick as possible. So this is the latest official uh, AeroWise 13, which is uh, currently running with the security patch of uh, November 5th and the build date was uh, 14th November so till then I didn't get any OTA update so the kernel version is 4.14.299 and here in the system I have the update option I can just uh, run uh, give it a check uh, but still there isn't any update uh, so far so we'll wait for that and the first thing that we gonna uh, check is the dmr status drm status whether it works the uh, uh, hd content uh, on the uh, streaming platform like uh, netflix or amazon prime so here i have ran all the tests so first we will start with the drm this one uh, currently supports the uh, security level of uh, al1 uh, which is uh, which is the one that it comes with it doesn't uh, block any uh, uh, quality related stuff so you can uh, still uh, stream the content in full hd now we'll see about the cpu throttling and the stress test so here i have uh, ran the uh, cpu test for uh, continuous uh, straight 15 minutes and the results are uh, pretty good i would say here is the result i have uh, ran two twice uh, even though in the in the beginning it had some uh, uh, downside but it in all the time it tried to run it uh, 83 percentage maximum performance which is actually uh, great uh, in my opinion even some other devices can uh, hold about 90 but 83 is still uh, in good position and then uh, we, I also have uh, ran the Geekbench and the Geekbench score is pretty much same as the previous one I got it like uh, 340 to uh, multi-core is uh, 1175 the uh, computational uh, score is uh, 1050 i have run twice and whatever number i'm telling uh, it is an average of uh, those two tests after that i have uh, uh, run the 3d mark uh, wildlife uh, the score is uh, 684 and the fps is uh, 4.10 so which is a pretty much decent one as it is a gaming processor ATG and when we talk about gaming let us uh, tell my experience with the uh, BGMI so it won with the normal graphics the FPS we have a uh, low and medium and uh, ultra I think so 30 to 40 FPS you can get it in normal uh, uh, graphics and if you increase it uh, to balanced or something uh, it will go to like uh, you need to decrease the fps to normal one which uh, stood like uh, 30 to 40 fps i believe i took the screenshot of it i guess so also i won the match there so yeah that's about uh, the gaming of uh, gaming in this one you can play the bgma in this one decently that is not an uh, that is not going to make any issue or stop uh, stop you from playing it and now we'll see about the camera 2 apa this is a tricky part so uh, as you already know uh, in order to use the camera to ap you should have this uh, level 3 support of uh, uh, hardware level but here we have here we only have the full support uh, so which means uh, uh, most of the uh, g cam won't even work i won't even open it so i'm still finding the workaround on uh, 
uh, enabling and finding the good camera i know we have we can add some uh, codes in the in the file and it it will probably work but uh, i have to check it uh, and uh, we will see it in a good fine day i have also checked the uh, safety net and the safety net is running uh, fine all basic criteria got uh, fulfilled so we'll believe it it works the banking apps and other uh, payment related apps so that is about the safety net and let's talk about the uh, day to day performance of this os so i have been uh, continuously using this uh, to complete my courses and uh, other things um, and it was pretty much good uh, in all the time it worked uh, well uh, especially the multitasking is fine it is it able to uh, store the uh, application and retain its uh, core things in the back end so in terms of that uh, it is actually uh, great in my opinion so uh, day to day performance wise you won't even see much of an issue uh, earlier stages we did uh, had some uh, visual glitches uh, slowness effects and all but now uh, it's more uh, stable getting into stable position and i still played the playback in 2k for uh, 4k doesn't support so uh, <laughs> took a last time someone asked you uh, whether how to enable 4k it doesn't support 4k played a lot of videos and it was working fine so i didn't face much issues but there are some glitch issues which we will uh, see in the bad part of this room that's what about the uh, day to day performance i would say uh, it's fine it is usable not uh, worse than the stock or something and uh, battery wise battery and charging wise it is good uh, the screen on time of this one is uh, nearly uh, 7 to 9 hours uh, which i was continuously monitoring uh, so when we had a, i have used the screen for uh, 5 hours uh, 21 minutes which uh, Uh, it's like 66 percentage, so still 33 is there. So again, if you calculate uh, another uh, two two hours or two and a half hours, uh, it will be like uh, seven to nine hours of uh, screen on time, uh, which is actually uh, great. To charge the device, it uh, literally took like uh, one hour, forty minute, forty five minutes to two hours. I felt a little bit it is high, but it is fine. I did use the 30 watt adapter, so um, it took lot a lot of time, but uh, I am actually fine with that. So yeah, that's what about the battery backup and other things. So what is the good thing about uh, this one? Uh, this is the latest, and uh, that is one of the good thing uh, because uh, the normal stock Android is still Android 11, so you don't you will miss the Android 12 and 13 features, which you have it in here, and it will give a uh, solid how to say. it will give solid that pixel reader uh, pixel tab experience somewhat and the second one is this is official when compared to earlier one so you can expect the ota update and which eventually works uh, fine i would i think so once ota is received i will try to make a video on it so i i was when ota comes i thought of making this video but uh, it was it was little delaying i believe so i thought okay we'll first make the review video of this one so yeah it will all it is official and also has the ota one and we have the tap to wake up feature so you can just double tap it will go off and it will turn on so you every time you no need to go upside and this one also it is stock android 13 so most of the android 13 features will be in this one available so yeah those are and uh, this uh, tab related uh, features and uh, you can uh, do it uh, in the free form uh, those things works fine uh, this general we have already uh, explained in the uh, uh, previous arrow os video so all the things are still present in here so now what is the bad thing well uh, i would say uh, first we don't even have the phase unlock uh, which i would say it was ha- it was there in uh, stock room so that is kind of uh, downgrade so you can the phase unlock uh, uh, doesn't work so that is the issue i would say so the security wise you don't have the phase unlock you have the pattern pin and those things which will work fine so no face unlock and no customization uh, well uh, it is expected because in earlier android uh, arrow is also there is no customization here also you don't have any specific customization to enable lot of uh, theming or other uh, uh, visual changes in the 
overall settings and other things which is perfectly fine because i'm not going to do much things in this one i just watch content and uh, do some designing stuff and everything that uh, perfectly works uh, in this one so yeah i am not uh, much concerned on the having customization third thing is no network monitor indicator so first arrow is uh, this one unofficial one we didn't get the uh, network monitor in the second update or something an official in an in unofficial we got that one added uh, in this one we don't have uh, the network monitor indicator again so that is uh, somewhat uh, downgrade because i am unable to check the speed and the other stuff so that is one of the major disadvantage of this one and also there is no dedicated gaming mode uh, there is one gaming dashboard uh, which is uh, not what i am expecting i am expecting that there should be a game mode that i can add the uh, games in the list uh, which will show the options whenever i, I play the games so like example this bgm is not at all there in the play store so it it doesn't even consider it as a game or something which will eventually stops me to seeing the fps and other things i would say uh, we don't have the gaming mode also you still have this uh, advanced reboot uh, which i uh, appreciate a lot career aggregation so i have installed the uh, netmonster and i was continuously checking whether any new bands are connecting or not but uh, there isn't any uh, so usually i'll get uh, two to three bands connected uh, in the network but it is just uh, only one single band uh, connected all the time so the carrier aggregation isn't uh, working so if it was working uh, here the network i get is like uh, uh, 30 mbps to 40 mbps so yeah carrier aggregation wise it's not working so in stock room it works i have previously tested it so yeah that is one of the disadvantage of uh, this room So that's what about uh, my uh, thoughts on this uh, Arrow OS 13 official. And if you found it useful, just leave a like and uh, subscribe to this channel to get uh, more upcoming updates on this uh, Realme Pad. And if you want to be a part of our uh, community and connect with similar-minded people like me and you, you can join our Telegram uh, community. The link will be available in the card which appears in. So also the link is available in the description, which is really really important at least for me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good morning. Thank you.